In this week's episode of Working With Ups, I'm going to show you how I use Asana. Hello and welcome to this episode 8 of my Working With Apps series. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I am going to show you how I use Asana. Now I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys out there. Asana is a, an application that has only just recently joined my repertoire of applications that I use but I was completely blown away with a way that Steve Dotto of Dotto Tech YouTube channel uses Asana and I thought wow this is the answer to one of those little niggly things that I was having with my pro uh, content scheduling. Now as you may know these days I put out four videos a week, I'm writing a blog post, I have a newsletter and now I have a podcast. So I'm putting out a lot of content every single week. Now to be able to manage that content and to be able to see where each piece of content is, what stage it is at, I was actually managing all that in Evernote and Evernote was doing a pretty good job to be fair but because of the way I was organizing my uh, content creation uh, notes I had different notes for different video series and what I realized was with after seeing this Dotto Tech uh, video which I, by the way I will put a link to that video in the comment section below. Um, but what I really wanted, I suddenly found that what I could do is once I have selected the topic for my content, all I had to do was to create a project in Asana and then use their boards feature to be able to track and progress those, um, those particular pieces of content through the week. So at the end of the week they all get into the uh, posted or um, I, I can't remember the exact word I use but basically once the content is posted it finally gets up into its final project window and then I can move on. So I'm going to show you how I do that in Asana. Before I do that though, uh, please if you like this video please click on the like button below and if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet please subscribe. Okay, let's get into Asana and I'll show you how I use it. Before I go into my uh, Asana to show you how I set it up, this is how I used to do it. What I would used to do is on a Saturday afternoon when I do my video recording, I would come here and I would go through these various things and plan out. I will have probably planned out some ideas during the week, but each note, like working with apps, working with work, blog post ideas, next uh, and Evernote and to do his videos ideas, they're all contained in separate notes. And I showed you those, I think, last time. And it's just really kind of... Um, it's not the most efficient way of producing content. So I switched over to Asana just a few weeks ago actually and it just changed everything. Now over here on this side down here I have weekly content schedule which is here which I'll show you in a moment. I've got my online course content which is at the moment there's just a few things in there. It's more um, some ideas in planning. Uh, it says planned it should be um, these are planned planning and then we're moving over to various things but I will come into how I do that in a moment and I've also started my content plan for uh, 2018 so your digital life will be coming out in December and I've got a couple of other ideas coming up here which I will be dealing with later but what we're really concerned about is how I'm using it on a daily basis so basically what I've done is I've set up the board um, of Asana so I just got uh, you've got all sorts of various things up here that you can use all I'm interested in at this stage is my board that is how I use this I'm not really using anything else into Asana and just in case there's anybody out there saying I thought you were going to show us how to use Asana no I'm showing you how I use Asana by the way it's a Asana is brilliant for team collaboration work you can of course like me use it for as one person but uh, you can actually use it as a team and it's really really effective as a team collaboration tool but sadly I'm a loner 
<laughs> and there's only me. So um, there's nobody else involved in my little production unit here. So it's just me. But if you had many other people, if you had a video editor or you had somebody else, of course, then this you could add them in there and you can just shift off everything you want. So basically when I'm planning now, this one I've not planned anything yet because essentially uh, the newsletter goes out on a Friday, today is Saturday afternoon, so I haven't started planning next week's yet. But I have created the task and uh, I would put in here if there was a specific theme or anything I wanted to mention, I would put it all in the comments section up here. Um, but that's basically at the moment what I've done is I've tagged it as newsletter and I can actually create little uh, to do's if there's anything. Um, so one of the things collect uh, articles I read all week. So that's something I now put into my newsletter. Oops, I didn't try to spell that right. Collect. Um, so I can actually have like little things in there that I want to do, but I don't really use that function. This is just really a way of doing this. And I probably I know people will now turn around and say you can do this in Trello. I know, but it's just Asana is just so much more simpler for me. Uh, so these three videos that I've got here are now in production. So working with apps here, which is the video I'm working on right now. Um, it's obviously in production because I'm recording it. But once I finish recording it, I will move this over to my post production because that now tells me that I'm going to go in and edit. So that's how I would do that. But I haven't finished recording yet. So it stays in in production. Post production. These are the videos that I really want to get. Uh, will, will need editing, which I will do later today. Uh, so I've already recorded my working with Todoist video and I've also recorded my working with Evernote video. And also one of the things that I've done is I add the number, the episode number, because it's very easy for me to forget about my episode number. So that's why I always put the episode number in there now. Uh, the Working With podcast is scheduled now. That goes out on Monday. And I don't know why it's saying the 27th of November. I actually picked the wrong date. So you can just click in there. It goes out on Monday the 20th. Um, sorry, I, <laughs> I had the wrong date in there, but that's already scheduled now. It's ready to go out Monday. What I will do is check that it's also gone out properly. Once it's gone out, I complete the task by clicking here and then I move it into my published column, which is right here. Now, the published column is what I will keep going for the whole month. So these are the videos that I've done so far this month. They're all here. Um, those guys will get deleted off at the end of the month because I'm using this on a monthly schedule. The other thing that I actually use is look at my content calendar. So here I have all the videos that are coming out. So these ones that are kind of uh, shaded a little bit, they've already been done. So I'm bringing content out every day. Have you noticed that? Um, so all the content stuff is there. These ones are coming out uh, are already scheduled to come out. They're, they're in various stages of production, but these things will come out. So all those are there. But the board is where I am most interested in. And I do look at the calendar to see what's coming up because it does tell me about public holidays and other things that might be of interest. OK, like I said in the introduction to this video, this idea I got from Steve Dotto. It's a brilliant idea. For those of you who are creating content, it's just a fantastic way of keeping your regular to do list manager, in my case Todoist, uh, relatively clean and tidy. And it means that you've got a unique specialized content scheduler with its own calendar. So it's not messing up your daily working calendar. And it is just a fantastic tool to use for this kind of purpose. And this is how I kind of use it. Now, Asana, I should point out, is not designed specifically for content creators just like this. There are so many uses of Asana and I have never really gone into it in a deep way, but I am using it as my content uh, manager and it tells me exactly what's coming, what's coming up and makes sure that I am always on top of what's going out. OK, hopefully you found this useful. If you have any questions at all about how I'm using Asana, please feel free to add a comment in the comment section below. But it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week.